So let us solve this problem. Find the midpoint, slope, and distance between the points negative 2, 5, and 10, negative 7. So we will just use the midpoint, slope, and distance formula between two points. So let's start with the midpoint formula. So the x-coordinate for the midpoint of two points, let's say x sub m, is given by x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2. While the y-coordinate, let's say y sub m, is given by y sub 1 plus y sub 2 over 2. So let's denote first the negative 2 comma 1 point as our p1. Therefore, we have x1 equal to negative 2 and y1 equal to 5. And let's denote p2 as the coordinate 10 comma negative 7. Therefore, we can have x2 equal to 10 and the... Uh, negative 7 equal to y2. So, plugging in the value, let's have x sub m, it's equal to, so x sub 1 plus x sub 2 over 2, x sub 1 is negative 2, plus x sub 2 is 10 over 2. So, we have negative 2 plus 10, it's positive 8, divided by 2, or simply 4. For y sub m, we have y1 plus y2 over 2, substituting the values, y1 is 5, plus y2 is negative 7 over 2. So 5 plus negative 7 is equal to negative 2 divided by 2 or simply negative 2 divided by 2 is negative 1. So therefore, the midpoint is given by the coordinate 4, comma, negative 1. Next, let's find the slope. So we can denote the slope as m equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, substituting the values, we have m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1. So, negative 7 minus positive 5 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, we have 10 minus negative 2. Simplifying, we have negative 7 minus 5. It's negative 12 over 10 minus negative 2. It's positive 12. So, the slope is therefore negative 12 over 12 or negative 1. Finally, the distance between the two points, let's denote as d. It's equal to the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So, substituting the values, we have the square root of x sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared. So, we have 10 minus negative 2 quantity squared plus y sub 2 minus y sub 1 squared. So, we have negative 7 minus 5 quantity squared. Simplifying, we have the square root of 10 minus negative 2 is 12, then squared, plus negative 7 minus 5, it's negative 12 quantity squared. Simplifying further, we have the square root of 12 squared is 144, plus negative 12 squared is also 144. So, we have a square root of 144 plus 144 is 288. Simplifying the radical, we can have square root of, think of factors of 288 in such a way that 1 is a perfect square. So, obviously, it's 144 times 2. So, therefore, we can extract the square root of 144, which is 12, leaving 2 inside the square root. So, therefore, the distance is equal to 12 square root of 2.